Thanks to Acara for sponsoring this video. One of Apple's best products is totally free. If you have watched any Apple event over the last eight-ish years, you've probably heard about- HomeKit. 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 Smart Home. Home. The Smart Home. Wait a second. I already know what you're thinking. Who cares about HomeKit, right? Honestly, I was right there in your boat with you, but my opinion totally changed when I found this. Or I guess when I found all of this. Let me show you why HomeKit is actually really cool, it's worth your time, and also why these Akara accessories are like the perfect way to get started to really build out the ultimate smart home of your dreams. But now we also have HomeKit. When Apple introduced HomeKit back in 2014, they laid out a mess of problems with seemingly a really clear solution. Smart home devices were way too complicated, they required a bunch of different apps to set up, there was no unification, and really there was little to no focus at all on privacy. But all that was gonna change with HomeKit. This was a new platform where devices would seamlessly integrate with other products in the Apple ecosystem that would allow for super easy setup and control, things Apple are known for, and also with Apple being involved, privacy and security would be taken way more seriously. And although was off to a little bit of a bumpy start there in the beginning. I'm happy to say that now, eight years later, HomeKit is better than it's ever been before in 2022. And also, one of the big benefits of HomeKit is that despite it being sort of an Apple thing, you don't have to buy sort of specific Apple accessories or pay crazy Apple prices if you want to enter into the HomeKit world because there are a lot of great options out there that are very awesome, built really well, really easy to set up, that will not break the bank, including some amazing accessories accessories made by Acara. And if you have not heard of Acara before, let me introduce you to an amazing emerging home brand that is making some really awesome smart home accessories that you absolutely need to know about. They've got everything from sensors, switches, really awesome cameras, curtain controls, even door locks that can be totally customized to fit your needs with either the Google ecosystem, the Amazon Alexa ecosystem, or of course, our favorite here, Apple HomeKit support right out of the box. And Acara products are known for their super high build quality, that they are optimized for a great great user experience, and also have price tags that will not break the bank. All right, so first things first, to get things set up, we need, from the start, a HomeKit hub. This is gonna allow you to control your devices through your phone and with your Mac and with your other Apple products, but also is gonna allow you to control them at home and while you're away as well. So you need something that's sort of stationary and that is always connected to power and internet in your home. Now, good news here is that if you own a number of different modern Apple products, there's a good chance that one of them is leading a secret double life doubling as a smart speaker or an Apple TV, but also being a HomeKit hub too. You can also technically use an iPad as well, any modern iPad, but the caveat here is that it's always gotta be connected to power, it's gotta stay at home, and it's gotta be connected to the internet since it sort of always has to be running. So if you've got an extra one lying around, you can go this route, but probably easier if you've got a HomePod or Apple TV. Um, I'd use that because it's just gonna make things way, way easier. And I won't bore you with like a step-by-step -step process here of like setting up each individual thing, but basically, you jump into the home app, you can create different rooms, you can sort of have different devices work independently of each other, so you can have living room lights work differently than kitchen lights and stuff like that. Just make yourself a couple of rooms, and then you're good to go, and you can start setting up your devices. So my setup here, I'm rocking two of the Camera Hub G3s, one Camera Hub G2H Pro, a temperature and humidity sensor, two motion sensors, one wireless mini switch, three smart plugs, and one hub M1S. Now some Acara devices like the smart plugs and the little mini switch will require a hub to make that connection from the Acara system over to HomeKit. But luckily the good news here is that many Acara devices sort of pull double duty weight as being both a full functional product, but also being a hub for different devices as well. So you can get a camera that's also a hub, or in my case here, I've got the hub M1S. This is a really awesome, really sleek product with a built-in light. It's got a really loud siren that you can use for an alarm system, and it's gonna work as a hub for all my other Acara devices. And this is where just the sheer beauty and ease of the Acara and HomeKit system come together to give you a really simple experience. All you've gotta to do to set this hub up is you open the Home app, you tap to add an accessory, you literally just scan this custom sort of code on the bottom of the device, and that's it. It's added, it's in HomeKit as a native app, 
and you are good to go. It's really that simple. And with all the other devices, like the smart plugs and the multi-switch, all I've got to do is literally just add them inside of the Akar app, and then they're going to transfer right into HomeKit as a native product, just like that. It's so simple, so easy, and honestly just took me a couple of minutes to get all the stuff set up, and it was running and good to go. All right, so now that I've got all these Akara products set up, let me show you how I'm using them in conjunction with HomeKit to do some really cool things in my home and actually build a smart home that actually works and makes sense for me. I've fixed a lot of my most pressing most annoying issues with these products. And now that I'm sort of in the HomeKit ecosystem, I'm a true believer. This is awesome, and let me show you what I've done. Okay, so here's a real quick, real world example of how Akara can work with HomeKit to do some really cool, really powerful customization. So I'm here in my home office. I've got a breaking news clip I need to record and put into the Apple Circle video. I've got the camera ready, but I've got a little problem with my lights. As I'm smartening up more and more parts of my home, I'd love to put these lights into HomeKit so I could control them right from my phone anywhere in the world and also with some cool Akara accessories. Can't do it out of the box. But luckily, with the help of some Akara products, I actually can make these lights super smart. So I've got an Akara smart plug on this light over here. There's that little box right there. I've got another Akara smart plug down there. And now, because I've set these up to be uh, smart inside of the Home app, all I've got to do is jump into my Home app on my phone. Because these are HomeKit compatible, these are ready to go. And if I want to turn on this key light, I can tap this button and bam, it's going to work just like that. Same for the background light. When I turn it on, just tap this button and we are good to go. It is just that simple, but wait, it gets better. So not only can I turn them both off at once because I have these outlets grouped together. So there we go. Good night. These are good to go. But also it's even better with this Akara wireless mini switch. This is a little customizable battery powered button. It's even got adhesive on here so you can stick it somewhere if you wanna hide this out of sight, out of mind, out of the way. Uh, but you can actually customize this through the home app and with the help of Akara software to do whatever you want. So in my case here, I want one click to turn on both lights. If I click this, it's gonna turn that on just like that. And then I have two clicks set up to turn it off. So maybe I do my thing, I record, I'm done. Instead of having to reach around, click that box there, and then come over here and unplug this. All I've gotta do is click this twice, and that's it. It's done, it's that easy. Thank you, Okara. It is so, so simple. In addition to that though, one of the other cool parts here is that these Akara products can all work together with HomeKit to do different things. There can be sort of triggers and different parameters. So for example, I've got a motion sensor that goes downstairs um, into my kitchen living room area. And usually when I get up in the morning around 4.50, cause I'm an old man, I just get up in the morning. Uh, it's usually pitch black downstairs, but luckily I've got an event set up inside of HomeKit that when the motion sensor detects motion during a certain time period, the Akara Hub M1S, the light on it, will light up and I can actually see where I'm going uh, and it not be pitch black at 5 a.m. I've got to say though, by far, one of my favorite categories here with the Akara system is definitely the cameras. Like I mentioned before, I've got two of their new G3s and one G2H Pro and all three of these cameras are absolutely amazing. For example, I've got the G2H Pro set up in my office as a sort of little extra layer of security here. And in fact, you can see me editing this footage right now. Here's a little spy shot. There's me working at my desk. Hey, I'll do a little wave. There you go. Hey, editing Robert, hope you're doing well. Get that video done. It's just a fantastic camera that has an adjustable base, two-way audio, and a 143 degree field of view that lets me see the entire space really easily. Now the quality on the G2H Pro is great, but I've gotta say, I have been absolutely blown away by the sheer image quality on the Camera Hub G3. And in a couple of particular reasons here, I have absolutely loved this. One is it's got great image quality. It also has pan and tilt functionality, so you can sort of adjust it uh, remotely if you wanna get a better shot. And also specifically for me, the night mode video is really, really good. So good in fact that I'm actually using this as my sort of brand new baby camera, baby model. Monitor. Sounds a little crazy, but as a new dad who has tested a lot of baby tech and a lot of baby smart cameras, this by far is the best option I have ever tested. It's got some goodies built in, like the infrared remote control functionality. It's got AI facial pet and gesture recognition, so it can sort of see if an unknown face is around and sort of give you that alert. You can actually put your HomeKit video feed in a picture-in-picture -picture window, so my wife and I can watch a show at the end of the day, for example, or watch a movie, and still have uh, our uh, little daughter Mia right in the corner of the screen. All right, so to wrap all 
this up, I think this whole experience has taught me a couple of important lessons and also left me with a couple of key takeaways. One, this is really cool. HomeKit is actually really awesome. And once you start to build out smaller components of your home and sort of make dumb stuff smart, it's really addictive to want to do it to everything. Once you have this level of control, you want that level of control over all devices in your home. It is really a blast and really fun to sort of set all this stuff up. My second lesson is that these Akara devices are the perfect entrance into the HomeKit ecosystem. They're built extremely well, they're really easy to set up, and they aren't going to break the bank. They've got really accessible price tags, and between cameras, sensors, smart outlets, switches, they've got everything you need to get started and really build out a really awesome, really versatile, really capable smart home. Now, car devices are available around the world, including in the US, UK, and EU. And one of the easiest ways to get a car devices to your door very quickly is through Amazon. A car actually has brand stores in the US, Canada, UK, Germany, France, and Italy. And they have dozens of retail partners around the world, including 20 plus countries in Europe. And what's also super cool is that a car has a close relationship with Apple. So it's no surprise that a car sells on Apple stores in some European and Asian countries. So again, if you guys want to check out a car, learn more and check out all the amazing products they've got to offer, hit the link right down below to learn more. Again, they've got sensors, they've got switches, they've got cameras, a wonderful collection and a growing collection of accessories to help you build out a wonderful home kit home. Again, a huge thanks to a car for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out all their products down below. And a big thanks to you guys for watching this video because I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming along this ride of a little bit of a geeky, nerdy Apple journey. I appreciate it as always, guys. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle and I'll see you all in the next one.